we're back. We're continuing from the last video. Um, in the last video, we were able to double tap and go into the running state, but we weren't able to stop or control our character while we're running. So well, we're going to get to that today. Um, what do you guys think of my intro? I just created that one for this uh, run tutorial. Um, production values, man, they're going up. So come back to your input script. And what we're going to do here is that I'm going to start to move some of this code around. So we are going to create another one of these switch statements inside of this switch statement. That's called nesting, a nested switch statement. So I'm going to come to here, right underneath where it says case human. Humans. And I am going to create another switch statement. But this time, instead of uh, using actor, we're going to use a uh, state. We want to know, we want to have different controls depending on what state we're in. So I'm going to put one of these little brackets here and then I'm going to come all the way here. just to close it up. So we're going to top of the break. And then I'm going to grab all this stuff and indent it. So there's going to be a lot of, uh, lot of cleanup going on today. Now in here, I'm going to say if I'm running, we are going to have different controls. And then right here for now, I'm just going to I'm going to put a default case. So what that means is that if I'm not if I'm not specifically running whatever state I'm in, these controls are going to apply. So once again, once again, I'm going to grab that code up to here. Don't grab this bracket, just up to here. And then I'm going to I'm going to indent right up to here like that. And let's close it off. Right. Under here, I'm going to put another break. So we have two breaks, right? One for the case human, and then another one for, uh, for this. Let's see, why am I getting... Oh, okay. I don't have to write this. Just write default. Okay. So I think right now, everything should still work exactly the same. I'm going to test it out just to make sure I didn't break anything. And I can still move, I can still punch, hit this guy, I can jump, jump on this, and I can run, but I can't stop. Alright, so let's come back over here. Run. So when we're running, So if we're running and we're facing right and for now we're using a image X scale to determine whether we're whether we're facing left or right. So if we're facing right um, and I hit I hit left while I'm running to the right, I want to be able to stop. So if I hit the left key Right, our state is going to be idle. Oops. And I'm going to change this from idle to something else right now in a bit. For now, let's just leave it at idle. And then, same thing, or face left. Yeah, not very exciting. Right. Negative one here. Okay, so let's test that out. See if it works. That's the wonderful world of coding. This is 
Very lame. Oh crap, I can't stop. Why not? What did I do wrong? Okay, so go back to your little character and step event movement. Go down to your states, to your run state. And I forgot to add controls for the run state. So let's go there now and let's call uh, player input. I knew I was going to forget this. All right, there, that should work. Let's test it out again. Here. Okay, so if I run to the right and hit left, I stop. Whoa. So, um, our max speed, if you remember when we run, we change our max speed to the running speed. And so once I stop running, I'm still going at the running speed. So we have to reset our max speed back to normal. So let's see. Let's come back over here. Then go to idle. Just idle right here. Um, so max speed should equal uh, what did I call it? Walk speed or something? Uh, equals well, was two, huh? Actually, I'm gonna add another variable. I'm gonna call it walk speed. I'm gonna call that two. Then I'm gonna set that here. Then come back to your states, idle state your character's uh, step event, and then set your max speed to walk speed when you're, when you hit idle. That'll fix it. So, oh, and back to normal speed. Alright, so now I can run, and I can stop. So, us being the overachievers that we are, are not going to stop there. We're going to um, add controls while we're running because right now I can't really jump, I can't, I can't punch, I can't do anything when I'm running. So I think first thing, actually you know what, let's add the, uh, like when I stop. Right now I just kind of go into a, like a dead stop. Let's add some, uh, like a little slide, that little slide from, from, uh, that transitions you from your running to your walking state. And I'm going to call that that transition, I'm just going to call it a, I don't want to call it slide, I don't know, maybe I'll change the name later, but for now, I'm just going to call it no, no input, because when you're in that little transitional slide, you shouldn't be able to, to do anything until you're done, until you come to a, a complete stop. And again, maybe we'll change that later, who knows, we can do whatever we want. In this world, we are God. Hey, so a little uh, no input case. So here we need to define um, when do we go into the idle state from here. So what I want to say is that once we come to a complete stop, then we go into our idle state and then we can start moving our character around again. So how do we define that? How do we define a complete stop? Anybody know? Anybody want to take a wild guess? Alright, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I guess if you knew, you wouldn't be here, huh? So, if our horizontal speed is zero, and, and, your vertical speed is also zero, you want your state to equal idle. And that, kitties, is how you describe a complete stop. So let's see, let's come back to our run state. Actually, no, go to your your uh, control script, control player input, and then here, let's change this from idle to uh, no input. Copy that, put it down here too. Right, let's test it out. Okay, so there it is. See that? Whoa! 
Hmm. So, see, when I stop and I hold left, I don't immediately turn around until I'm until I completely stop. And I'm noticing that he's not. We haven't set the sprite for when we're running because he's got like a different little animation. When he runs. So let's do that now. I'm actually gonna um create a script for changing the sprites because I'm noticing that let's see, let's come over here that we keep repeating um, certain code over and over again. Oh wait, they already have no. Oh yeah, I already created a, a script for that. Okay. Cool. We don't have to do that then. Let's come back uh, to run and let's set our sprite. Set sprite. And uh, crap, my phone is ringing. Hold on. Okay, so change your sprite to run. And uh, test it out. So let's see, and whew, there it is. <laughs> like those little feet freaking running when, when he's stopping, like they're just still. <laughs> Anyways, so that works. Um, also, we should set the sprite when we're in when we're in this transitional state. And I guess we'll just go to um. I think in the original game it was idle. So we'll just set the sprite to idle. All right, so we can run, we can stop our animation changes. Let's go to um, ah, still there's a lot of things we need to do. So I might have to make a third and a fourth, one, fourth video. So let's see what's next. Go back to your input script. So now when I'm running, I want to be able to move up and down as well. Um, just not just side to side. So let's come down here underneath this one, but just above the brake. And I'm gonna say move up and move down. You guys should uh, get in the habit of commenting your code, it's pretty helpful, especially when you haven't looked at it for a while. Alright, so we're going to say here, if I push the up key, key up, I want to I want to subtract from V acceleration, because uh, as you guys remember, in Game Maker, Going up the screen means you're going negative numbers. You're subtracting. So that's that. And then same thing if I'm going down. Down. And take away that minus. And now we should be able to move up and down. So let's see if it works. Right, so left, I'm going to run, and there it goes, I could move up and down. So like uh, when you're walking, you can move up and down pretty quick, but when you're running, um, in the original game, you don't move up and down as quickly. It's like your speed for um, moving up and down is slower, which is why I multiplied um, I said uh, I set it to so I didn't do I didn't do like minus equals I just set it to negative speed times two because when you're walking this is minus equal and this is plus equals but anyways so yeah so we can move up and down now and right here since we're still in our run state I mean whatever we, whatever we want to do 
we can just put it here. So whatever we want our button one to do when we're on a run state, like if we want uh, something different to happen when we're running as opposed to when we're walking or idling, you just put it in here, whatever you want. And whatever you don't want, you just leave it out, which is why I like setting it up this way because it just kind of makes things more manageable. And this default case is going to be a problem also. Like, um, for example, hey, let me show you. Um, actually, I don't have a good example, but <laughs> this is going to be a problem later. But like, like everything, we'll fix it once we cross that bridge. Um, for now, this is working good, so we'll leave it. Also, when we're running, we want to be able to do a couple more things. For example, we want to be able to attack when we're running, and we want to be able to jump. So let's add the punching. Oh, I just call it attack. And same thing. Um, we're going to follow the same sort of procedure. So let's say if input dot button one state equals punch. And we're going to have to change this also later on because um, like the, there's like a different animation when you run and you punch in the game, which we're going to have to add later. But for now, I think this will be okay. So let's see if this works. So yeah, there it is. So when I'm running and I hit the punch button, now I can punch. See? But I can't, I can't jump. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to leave that for homework. It's going to be your homework, guys. Yes, you're going to have homework. I want you to figure out how to add jumping to your running. And I'll give you a clue. It's the same format. You have to say what button's gonna be for jumping, and then you gotta set the state, and that's it. Make sure you just just make sure you put it within this running case, uh, within the this break. Don't put it like down here or anything. And that is it.